First of all, yes, we are here doing an interview in the middle of a pandemic. How are you guys surviving in all this? <laughs> you know, you know, I. Listen, I'll be the first to say that while I'm a huge advocate for obviously mental health and self-care, I'll be the first one to like make fun of my friends. Like, oh, is it a self-care night? I've had many a self-care night these days because it's very important to me these days. So self-care is how I'm getting through. Very good. What about you, Celeste? No, yeah, I'm hanging in there. I mean, I'm also in school, so I'm like spending a lot of time on Zoom. <laughs> I literally have my like Zoom classes talking to you today. So yeah, just really glued to my computer, but trying trying to get outside as much as I can and safely. <laughs> yeah, well, I, you know, I'm gonna give you guys a compliment because you guys are about to make a lot of people very happy with these two lovely performances. Uh, I had a you. blast, absolute blast watching this. Uh, and you're both kind of horror people. You both have had a little bit of experience. I Well, genre, maybe not so much horror for you, Celeste, with Ghostbusters, but is this, a, is this your genre? <laughs> Me? No. I, I mean, personally, I'm terrified of horror movies. Like, I do not watch scary movies because I just get scared so easily. Um, but... But it's it was so fun to to be on set and to see the process and to be like oh I'm I'm not scared on set <laughs> so yeah I'm I'm pretty new to the genre though yeah what about you Misha well you you've got the Nosferatu what what's the difference of this and working with Chris and that and, and working on that you know what's so funny is you were saying you're a horror person I'm like I'm a horror person but uh, sure Nosferatu is of the horror genre my particular character was very much on like the high school normal kind of like the straight man to the horror side of things if that makes any Fair sense enough. at all but um so look I mean I'm not much of a horror person either I learned so much about horror doing this film and Chris in particular as you know has such like a, a particular genre and he's so good at making that genre feel very at home on set so it of course, it felt like we were in a horror film, but we were just there doing the scene, being very in the moment because Chris makes that environment so easy. And then you look at the footage, you're like, oh, right, I was running away from a giant six foot two serial killer. Got it. But, you know. Well, I get it. Every time I watch one of his films, there's so much energy, at least, you know, visually coming out of the audience. You're just like, you feel like you're in the moment. What's it like to work on the film like that? What's it like to, let's start with you since you're, you're already, uh, Misha, what, what, what's the energy like for you? Caffeine. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> but, um, uh, so, so look, I mean, so a, a piece of advice that an, like an acting coach of mine gave me uh, before I went ahead and went to go shoot this thing was, remember that in a horror film, the stakes are ridiculously high. That's what makes it an enjoyable and an intense film to watch. So yeah. even if it is 3 a.m., you are running all night, you are tired, you are sweaty. I don't want to see sleepy eyes. I don't, want, I don't want you to for a minute forget that the stakes are up here. So every take has to be that way. And I really took that to heart. And it's very much how Chris works as well. So it, that energy comes from constantly remembering that the stakes of this world that Chris and Michael Kennedy have made are so high. So it's just about living up to it every single take. And yes, 3 a.m. caffeine. <laughs> well, we got to wrap it up. But you guys, honestly, you guys are great. And congratulations. I love this movie. Thank you so much. Thank Cheers. You so much. I can't wait to kill you. Time to stop this asshole. We're in this together. my body back. Come and get it. Look, I know I look like the butcher, but it's Millie. He's crazy. Okay, Booker, can you look at me, please? Booker! Dry up, bitch. Booker, help! Booker! Will you shut up? <laughs> Booker! Ah!